Hello friends, welcome to today's video. I am excited if we have not met. Hi, my name is Tanya. Today I'm just kind of doing a vlog, taking you along with a like my Sunday, doing kind of like a Sunday reset. I love Sundays because it's a good day to like rest, but then also to kind of prep for the week. I like it because it's just a combination of those things that I really enjoy. And so it's been nice, we went to church this morning, um, just had some lunch, rested a little bit, and then I'm just kind of going to get it done a few things and to prep for the week. And just to kind of show you, it's nice because it's just kind of slow pace. Um, I don't know, just slowly get ready for the week for our homeschooling stuff. I have a couple Amazon things that I want to put up, do a little refresh in my bathroom I'm excited for, take you guys with that. I also want to try a new copycat granola recipe for this granola that I really like. So we're going to try it today hopefully and just prep some other things in the kitchen as well so kind of all my favorite stuff in my house <laughs> and take you guys along with me so if that's interesting to you then stick around and yeah let's get into this vlog i'm gonna start off with a little unboxing and hopefully we've got this to work as i wanted to get this soap dispenser like a triple soap dispenser for our bathroom because we currently have i mean we just have our own family but we have like my brother stays with us during the week my mom also does and just we always have a lot of people in our house and the bathtub kind of gets a little bit crazy so i wanted to get this dispenser that we could put up in the bathroom for like shampoo conditioner and body wash because my goal for the new year is to also simplify a little bit and just get bulk refills of items uh, which i think i'll try to feature in another video because we still are trying to use up our extras of all our different bottles so one that once that's done then i want to buy the bulk ones that i kind of researched on amazon so that's my goal for this year to kind of streamline that within our household but i'm going to figure this out and then we'll see how it turned out and i'll show you guys and take you into my bathroom all right, so I started with uh, putting the little thing on there, kind of checking to where I wanted it to go and to see with where the canisters were, if I liked kind of the layout of it. So I did that and it comes with the sticky tape and I was worried my main concern is that it wouldn't stick. And it has been about a month actually and a half since filming this. I'm sorry if I'm uploading this kind of late, but... Um, the good news is I'm able to share an update that it is still sticking and it's working really well. So I'm actually really happy with this. It's helped to clear up a lot of the clutter from around the bathtub, um, especially for like my kids and stuff to, to not have all these bottles everywhere. I really like it. And then you just kind of hook it in there. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy, but I've really been liking it and I've gotten a few bulk like I have a bulk body wash that I've been using for it. So I really liked it so far. And so I did that, attached it. And then there are these stickers that came with it, which is really nice, which also have not come off or anything. And I was able to label it. So it looked nice and neat in there. Right. Well, looks pretty good. I like the labels. I'm going to let it sit for a few hours. I haven't refilled or anything. I have this little nice handles right here and so hopefully i'm excited to try it out i'm gonna let it sit for a while and see how it goes and give you my feedback on it i just my biggest fear is i'm like please don't fall off like that's what makes me nervous <laughs> so we shall see but i also got some dried eucalyptus from amazon you can see we still have to paint but looks like at least for now so we have some of that i think it looks really nice and i got a new tension rod to match with this so i'm excited i think it looks really good small little update and probably refill it in a few hours i'll let it sit for a while so all right friends we are in the kitchen my favorite place to be and um like i said i am going to try to just kind of prep some things for the week um but also one of the things i'm trying to make we'll see how it goes we're gonna see if it works out is I'm trying to do a copycat recipe that I found on Pinterest. I'll link it down below to the Love Crunch like chocolate strawberry granola. If you guys know, it's a pretty sweet granola, but my kids really like it, but it's also very expensive. I think it's gotten up to $9 a bag. And like, I have three kids, so they can fly through that bag so quickly. It's so expensive. So, and here's kind of this remnants left, <laughs> but you can, it's, I don't know. 
that's kind of the little bit we have left so i found the recipe again i'll link it down below but it's supposed to be a copycat for it i think i have all the ingredients i'm gonna check but we're gonna try it out see how it goes and while i start prepping that i'm also gonna get um some eggs going because we have had a lot of ch our chickens have been laying really well i might take you guys out and show it with the girls and how they're doing they survived the arctic temperatures so let's get going in the kitchen and do some stuff so you can see here we have gotten a lot of eggs and even more now at the time that i'm uh, uploading this video we've just been getting so many eggs but we've been so grateful that even through a lot of these cold temperatures that we had at the time of filming we still were able to have eggs so our chickens have been doing an amazing job so we're really grateful for that and just yeah it's just so fun to have them at our little home and we're just so excited uh, for hopefully getting a few more chickens stay tuned there's hopefully lots of exciting things coming up on my channel which i don't want to get into yet but stay tuned is all i will say and then there were so many extras that i actually also i do sell eggs as well just because i have some local neighbors and people in our community but we just decided to also load them up into some egg cartons because i had extras but eggs are so great to have on hand so you can put them into so many different things, eat them by themselves, eat them for breakfast on like avocado toast. Again, wow, eggs are just great. I love them. <laughs> you can talk all day about chickens and eggs. So what are my favorite things? So I just have put them in there to boil. And yeah. So then I decided to move on to trying this copycat recipe. And it actually turned out really great, but um, you needed, I believe, I'll link it down below because me trying to remember, <laughs> future me trying to remember what my past me did is not going to go well. So I just did some oatmeal and some coconut in there and mixed everything up. And then pretty much it was just mixing all the others. So there was like honey uh, was the main sweetener along with some chocolate chips that we added in at the end. But it was also cocoa powder and some coconut oil, I believe, that I put in there as well. Again, I'll link it down below. And then I also did get freeze-dried strawberries that I purchased on Amazon to use for this recipe because that is one of the favorite parts that we love about this recipe is the freeze-dried strawberries which side note the freeze-dried strawberries are great to add into cereals and other stuff too we really liked the ones from amazon because they came in like little cut up pieces i really like them i'll try to link them down below if i remember um but yeah the granola this was my first time actually making granola which is kind of strange that i haven't tried it before but <laughs> it was my first time so it actually went pretty well. It was just cinnamon, I believe I also added, and cocoa powder, and mixed everything in. But I think it was one of those things that helped me gain some confidence, too, for future granola making. <laughs> and I feel like, okay, it's not as difficult as I thought it was. And it's crazy because at the time of this video, the I was just telling my husband, this granola that we like is 9 dollars i think it's nine or 950 a bag which is crazy like that's that's so much more than what it used to be and i just i couldn't believe it i was like that's insane that a, a bag that size you know would be nine dollars and fifty cents where i was able to make it myself yes it did take a little bit of time but i really was proud of myself that one it saved money and also that i could do it so yeah Share down below if you have any granola recipes that you really like. I like want to get a little bit more into granola. I am not a granola connoisseur, so definitely share down below if you have a recipe that's like a tried and true. There's my smart vacuum, aka our lab in the background helping, hoping to find some pieces on the ground. But yeah, it turned out really well. So all you have to do is just then dump it in. You don't put the strawberry pieces in at this point. I just put it in, flatten it, and then you bake it, and then towards the end, I believe, is when um, we would put some of the dried strawberry pieces in. 
but this also smelled so good in the house. Everybody was like, what are you making? What's in the oven? It smelled really, really, really good. All right, the recipe called to every 10 minutes, kind of mix it up. Am I a granola expert? <laughs> no, it's like my first time making granola. But, I don't know, seems good to me, right? Sure. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give it 10 more minutes. While we wait, also because I'm just so excited. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. And I just am excited to talk to people. <laughs> talk to people in the world. Hi, you guys. Um, but I want to show you guys a thrift store find that I found yesterday. I was so excited for this. I got, uh, let me get it out here. I got this, like, jug or whatever you want to call it. But it has chicken on it. And it's not anything super crazy, but I wanted to pick this because I think I got it for like $6.99 plus I had some um, discount codes, but I really liked it because I wanted it to replace. I have like a bunch of my utensils and wooden utensils that I store on the counter and they were just in mason jars, which is fine, um, but the mason jars were kind of just too small to hold all these. So when I came across this yesterday at the thrift store, it was perfect. I was like, it's nice and open, like wide mouth. And I was actually able to fit all of these utensils that have been in two separate mason jars into one plus the fact that it has the chicken on it you guys know i'm a chicken lady so i just thought this was so cute so i added it to my my whole um yesterday's store but this is what it looks like next to my little bear jar from our honeymoon years ago and look at how cute it looks so i have my other bamboo one but i just thought this was so cute and added just a little pop of something but also obviously functional so yay all right so granola is in the oven eggs are boiling and if you have granola i feel like you gotta have yogurt that's how my family eats it now it wouldn't be one of my meal prep videos if i wasn't making instant pot yogurt if you guys have seen my videos you know you're gonna be like tanya but here's the reality we make it a lot at my house my kids like it it's good um if you are new Hi, we like yogurt at my house and I like to make it in my Instant Pot because it's really easy. And um, I'll show you guys, I can all include it because we're making it. So it's nice because I usually get a, a half gallon out of it and it lasts me for the week or even longer depending how I decide to eat it. Um, so it is definitely a nice staple in our house that we like to make. So let me take you along. If you are new, you haven't, I, gu I guarantee just try it. And we have so many people have loved it that have tried it and it's really easy to make especially if you have an instant pot you don't have to worry about temperatures waiting measuring like it's just very easy so let me show you i'm gonna put you guys down all right so if you have the instant pot that has the yogurt function you're good to go so um i just you just need a half gallon of milk um whole milk because higher fat so it's better a little bit it helps with the yogurt making so i just have a half gallon of milk Pour that all in. All right. Now, um, this next step is not required, but I like to include it because my family does like a little bit of sweetened yogurt. I used condensed milk. You can use the whole can, half if you want a little, if you don't want too much sweetener or none at all, uh, that's fine. But I do like to use it. I like the flavor that it gives. It kind of makes it a little bit more richer. So I'm going to do maybe like half a jar, I think, this time. Because our granola is kind of sweet too, so I don't want too much sweetness. So I just pour it in. And here's the thing. Um, the next thing that you will need, and this is kind of you do have to have, but this is also still very forgiving and maybe yogurt enthusiasts or people who are professional will scold me. But the next thing you need is a yogurt culture, and that's just basically any yogurt i've used all different kinds and ideally you'd have just plain yogurt which i usually keep in the fridge but my kids already ate it and i didn't realize that and so all i have is like the yo play i got this at the discount food store a couple days ago the strawberry banana but i have used flavored yogurts and it still works because we just need a spoon of the cultures just to get the yogurt going like the culture is the main thing we need but if you have plain vanilla, you know, but just yogurt, you don't need tons. So you guys will see here, oh, if I get it open, you just need like a spoon 
like a hefty teaspoon, you can go to tables. Whoa, I'm spilling here. But you just need a little bit, maybe one or two, because you just need that yogurt culture um, in the milk. Again, am I a yogurt professional? No, maybe that's wrong, but all I know is it's worked in the past. So we shall see. Watch, well, this will be the one time it doesn't work. <laughs> but then all you have to do is mix everything up. Let me show you. So we just mix it all up in there. It's just milk, the condensed milk, and your yogurt culture. Again, you don't have to have the condensed milk. I just feel like it gives it a little bit of sweetness and like a richer flavor. So you just kind of mix it up. It doesn't even have to be crazy mixed up. Just do your best. And then just put a lid on top. I have an Instant Pot lid, but you can also just use like a plate. Um, you don't have to do the pressurized. Um, you again i used to play for the longest time before i got this so it doesn't even have to be anything fancy like you don't need a special lid it just needs to be covered because the heat is on there Ugh, excuse my spillage but then all you need to do is just push the yogurt button and leave it for eight hours that's it that's how easy it is if you have the yogurt function you don't need to measure stuff take temperatures it's all automatic but i'll show you guys at the end of the process we should hopefully have just our good trusty yogurt at the end but that's it i can just leave it it's such an easy prep thing if you have not tried it please try it it's just so easy and it's really great and really simple yogurt at home all right we're gonna take a little break because why not, right? When you are in the kitchen cooking, you gotta take those two. So I'm gonna try, we'll see how it goes. I got one of these, um, it's a grapefruit juice. I got it at the discount food store the other day, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out some of my discount food store hauls. I'm hopefully gonna do more videos about it, but it's a big way that we save a lot on our grocery budget. Um, but I really love buying like organic or cold pressed juices because I don't drink juice all the time but I do still like to sometimes have it on hand but it gets very expensive especially if you have cold pressed like organic juice it's crazy like little bottles are five six dollars so big ones are even more I got this one like um I think it was two dollars two ninety nine at most um so I just wanted to try it we'll try it together I tried a juice a couple weeks ago from this Natalie's brand I'll show it to you guys I never had it before, so I don't know much about it, but I did like the other juice I tried, so let's just do a little taste test, why not? I think I mixed it up enough, I don't know. I'll try a little and see how it goes. Hmm. It's definitely like full on grapefruit. I would say it's a little bit tart. I guess I should know that's kind of, that's kind of like exactly how grapefruit tastes. Because I don't think it has any additives, which is good. But I think I would honestly, let's see, it's just, yeah, straight up grapefruit juice. I would actually almost put this in smoothies or um, if you want to add a little bit of honey to it. But I would drink this as like smoothies or, yeah, that's how I feel like I would do it. Mm. It's not bad though. If you like grapefruit juice, this is straight up grapefruit juice <laughs> so not bad but i would be curious to see i'm guessing they make other juices as well um because like i said i did try like a mixed one and that one was really good i'd be curious to try another one of their juices but i probably will use this more in a smoothie than just drinking it straight up because i do like the flavor but i think to be better with like some other fruits in it as well so it'd be a good smoothie base i think for this week all right I had all these plans of doing voiceovers and slow relaxing video. I don't think that's what's happening today, but I thought um, our eggs are done. Hopefully. Um, they look pretty good. So I thought I would maybe peel some of them just so they're ready to go. And while we're peeling eggs, I thought we could talk and I could do a little bit of a life update because I haven't been making too many videos on this channel. Um, just to give you guys, share a little bit about what's been going on and see how you guys are doing but um well one we are finally over this polar vortex i live in minnesota for those of you that don't know so it was pretty bad oh and i definitely forgot to add our baking soda so it would peel easier Ooh. um that's okay we'll make it work um but so it was really cold and we're not on a farm we're in the suburbs but we do have 
chickens and um, we have cats and a dog. So definitely had animals we had to kind of pay attention to. Um, we're obviously definitely not like a farm, you know, we didn't have to worry about livestock like cows and things, but either way, you know, we were kind of focusing. Thankfully, the chickens are hardy. We only lost one chicken um, and it was kind of one because she was one that was older and didn't have the best. Um, she just wasn't one of our healthiest chickens and so she also ended up getting herself like stuck outside of where the main chicken area is and so unfortunately she did die so we had one loss of chickens but considering it was what like minus but it was like minus 20 something with wind chill so it was very cold um one loss of chicken like that's we're thankful it was just the one but otherwise the chickens are doing well they still kept laying um just we're doing really well we're very thankful so we survived it we're doing well i'm excited for at least above or just freezing temperatures not below so that was that also if those of you don't know we did start homeschooling which this year which is also part of the reason why i have not been filming a lot um just because it was a big adjustment i am a teacher um i've been teaching for over it'll be 10 years this year so the teaching aspect wasn't new to me but you know transitioning to teaching my own children and just all of that but I feel like we have a groove and we're definitely glad that we did it. It's going a lot better. We just had a lot of issues last year with um, a school, which is one of the reasons. And if maybe people are curious, like I'll do another video of why we chose to homeschool. If people are interested, I don't know. Um, but it's been going really well. We've been really liking it. And it's just been a good change of pace. And so that has been going on. And I have three children. I have a nine-year-old, an eight-year-old, and a six-year-old. So it's just, yeah, it's been a really good experience and spending more time with my kids. It has definitely had its challenges. It's not, you know, it's not always easy. Like, woohoo, I feel like sometimes we see, like, the social media side of homeschool, and it is not always that way. And if you're a mom, you understand, you know, if you homeschool, like, it's just not always easy with kids. But it's definitely worth it, and I'm glad that we finally did it this year. So that's definitely what's been going on at our house too. I'm trying to think. Um, I did resign from my full-time teaching I job. I smell something. Yep, I'm cooking granola. Granola? Yeah, that's what I smell. Yeah, you smell the granola? You smell the chocolate, huh? <laughs> he will always smell chocolate. <laughs> He's my sweets guy. Um, <laughs> But I did resign from my full-time teaching job. So I finished peeling that whole dozen eggs. I know sometimes I've kept them unpeeled, but I just find it easier because usually we'll go through them pretty fast anyway. I'm um, gonna probably use a good amount today for the soup that I'm hoping to make. I'll show you guys. It's an easy, I love having eggs on hand because it's just an extra added protein. You could have it as a snack. My kids like to just um, eat them, you know, regular. Adding them to salads, adding them to certain soups, I really like. So it's just nice to have as just something extra that's already ready to go. So I'm gonna pop these into the fridge and we're done with that for this week. All right, now while <laughs> the granola is going, some of the yogurt and things, I usually, what I do on Sundays is prep for our homeschool week. So the way that I do this is just kind of sit on our bed, have my laptop, I have this printable that I print. I know there's planners and stuff, but this has just worked well for me. It's easy, I'll have a link to it down below. I found it on Pinterest from a website. Um, and it's just nice, I like it, it's easy. You can kind of customize it yourself, but I will just write the date here. I'll kind of show you an example of one. And I have stuff in my little thing. And so I'll show you an example from last week. And again, this is, if you know, in teaching, just be flexible, but it's kind of a plan. It might not always go that way, but just to have something ready. So you can see, for example, this was last week. I had our date. I just, I just go by days and then different subjects. And so um, usually we have math, language arts, obviously, and then we have social studies, science, and then we also do handwriting and then we do languages. So we learn Russian. Um, I Russian is my first language if you didn't know my husband's is Spanish so 
we do that as well just to help try to keep up some knowledge of the language with our kids um but i just plan it out here and it's not anything crazy i'm just making sure i have all materials so that's kind of what i do so i start by it's nice we use the good and the beautiful this year we've been liking it and it's nice because everything's prepared so you can just open up so for language arts and math there's not really any prep or anything that i need to do which is really great because those are the main subjects so i just kind of i but i like to kind of look through the books and kind of look at the lessons for this week just to have an idea of like what's coming up or if i need any extra materials you know like if i need to get something picked up so i'll usually just kind of look through but there's not really anything to prep like i just saw like oh this one it looks like you'll she'll need paint and a cotton swab and then for um so if good and beautiful we use for math language arts and handwriting and then for science and social studies and for russian i mainly i like to look up our state standards we have a program that we purchase a subscription to called ixl and it's nice because it's from k through 12. if you guys want to do a, another video about it let me know um we really like to pair it with our instruction but then i also just look up based on the state standards i pick a topic and then i like to purchase units on teachers pay teachers i've just found that's better than trying to purchase like a whole curriculum um because i just i like that better and we can kind of gear it towards unit studies and i found that it has worked better for our family so right now for science we are studying different body systems and then um, for social studies we are doing the states and capitals of different regions of the united states so usually i'll just again i'll find stuff on my computer and i'll make sure i have stuff printed or check if i need to i still i printed ahead so like right now we're doing the respiratory system so i'm just kind of checking to make sure so this was what we worked on last week they did labeling of the different body parts and then this week one of the days we're going to be doing a reading so i'm just making sure and then like a labeling those pictures so we should be good so i'm going to get to planning a little bit i'll let you guys kind of see how i do but honestly it doesn't take long that's what i really like about this and pretty much the only thing is just making sure i've printed my materials but everything it doesn't take that long it doesn't have to be super scary overwhelming so okay so i think like i mentioned this has been our first year homeschooling and i was really nervous but it's been going really well um and if there's any kind of questions you guys have or i don't know not that i'm a seasoned homeschooler i am a licensed teacher i have been teaching for 10 years so um not that you have to be licensed to be a homeschooler you know homeschooling teacher but if you ever have i don't know if there's any kind of questions you guys may have or I'm not sure if, you know, I don't even know if people want my advice, but if there's anything you guys would like to see in a video or what's been helpful or anything like that or questions you have, um, please comment down below so I know and then maybe I can put them in a future video or answer some of those questions. So again, I'd like to make content that would be interesting for you to see or to learn from. Um, so yeah, but we... Lately, so at the time of this filming, we had been working on body systems and I've been actually just storing my papers into this little file thing and it's been really nice. I've been enjoying it. It's been helping, you know, just keep me organized. Those are some of the Russian worksheets. Um, if Again, if you're not, if you don't know, I am from Ukraine. So Russian is actually my first language and we've been trying with the kids a little bit to have some Russian language knowledge. It's challenging, but we've been trying to work on that. So I keep those as well. And um, yeah, but Hope School has been going well. I'm really glad that we chose to do it this year finally. All right. So my planning is pretty much done. Thankfully, this week was a little bit not as intensive planning because I had printed a lot of the extra materials last week. So it kind of pre prepped last week. So I really just had to kind of sit down and write everything out, but it did not take very long. And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go get prepping for kind of our dinner. Cause then once, honestly, like, I like to do this, it takes maybe a couple hours, not even. And then I just want to relax the rest of Sunday. Cause I'm like, it's a day of rest. I just want to read a book, be lazy on the couch, maybe watch a movie or show with the kids. So this doesn't take super long. So I like to kind of do shortcuts 
I do make a lot of my meals from scratch, but I want to do something that I'll show you guys um, that I thought would help with dinner today. And it's uh, kind of like a meal prep kit that I found at our discount food store. It seemed pretty cool. So I think I'm gonna make that for dinner and call it a day because I want to rest today because tomorrow's another week and I gotta make sure I have <laughs> some energy to be going for another week. So let me show you what I'm gonna make for a quick, easy dinner today. And yeah. I decided to try out, I found this chicken, chicken, <laughs> can you use my words, miso ramen soup. And again, is this probably the most healthy thing, healthiest thing? Probably not. But it is one of those things that sometimes I don't mind using, especially if it's like on a Sunday day where if I haven't had time to, you know, put up a meal or I'm just kind of in a rush, maybe. It's just helpful and I say go ahead and use those cheat things when you can. You know, I'm not gonna judge you. <laughs> so please don't judge me. And if you do, I don't want to hear it. So um yeah, it actually turned out pretty good. But just a little tip, you can find these for a lot cheaper because they're so expensive at the regular store, but at this comfort food store, they're a pretty good price. All right. Here it is. And then I'm gonna cut up also the hard boiled eggs I made. And we'll put that, but that's what it was. So dinner is done for today. <laughs> we can rest the rest of the day, hopefully. So there we go. All right, and these were the freeze dried strawberry pieces that I was telling you guys. So after I took out the granola, um, to make it very close to the copycat of that Love Crunch one, I um, cut up chocolate chip pieces. Probably, you know, you could get mini ones, but I, I didn't have any of those. So I just used our Costco chocolate chips. And then I added in, I didn't do too much, which I kind of like because you can kind of control, obviously, how much sweetness you add. Um, so that's nice. And then these freeze dried strawberries, these are such a gem. I don't know. These were so exciting for me. They're like such a good find from Amazon this, just like the past few months. I really like these because you can use them for so many other things or even just to snack on. They're just a good like little size to add to stuff. Cause I know there's freeze dried strawberries. I could all the, but not like cut up ones. And these are just cut so well. It's the little things, but it makes a difference. I'm telling you, it's so cool. Try them out if you have not. I really, really liked them, so. Well, overall, I'd say success. It definitely looks like the Love Crunch, and I actually prefer using my own little pieces because I feel like these were in a better size. They're a little bit more smaller, so I'm excited. I'm gonna put it in two jars and granola for the week. Yeah, I'm just so excited. You guys can see here I mixed in one of the hard boiled eggs. You can also put other, you know, like cilantro and other things. I love you, I love you. I'm out of cilantro right now, so, but I'm just gonna put the egg on there and yeah, I'm excited. It is now evening time on Sunday. I just wanted to show you all what the yogurt looks like. So you can see it's almost at eight hours but it's getting nice and like thick and creamy and turned out really great. And again, all it's been doing is just standing here and I didn't have to do anything, just pour everything in and it's delicious. I tried a little bit. We could already see that it was kind of getting like more hard and more yogurty, like around five, six hours, but that is definitely, I'm excited for this. This is all ready for the week. All right, friends, it is evening time now on Sunday and I've kind of been relaxing with the rest of the time after I did a lot of the kitchen things, which was really nice, um, and the homeschool planning. So I'm gonna end the night uh, with just a little bit of crafting time because I found that this just helps my mind and my spirit. <laughs> but I am currently working on crocheting. I learned how to make these kind of like slipper socks. So I finished one and now I'm gonna finish the night um, just hang out for a little bit with my husband the kids are in bed and i'm gonna work on my second sake <laughs> so i hope you guys got a little bit motivated just to get some ideas for maybe things to try to prep but i also just like watching these i think it's just motivational for me to see what other people are doing um and so i hope you guys enjoy this video and maybe just 
got some entertainment from it but i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day bye everyone